Is it difficult to clean leathers like Nubuck or Crazy Horse? Not really. Just watch and relax to my ASMR video. G'day, welcome back to Bootlosophy. Uh, my name is Tech. I acknowledge the traditional custodians of the lands that I'm filming on, the Wajuk people of Noongar Buja. Now, uh, one of the things that uh, boot collectors often scratch their heads about is how the hell do you clean a sort of soft, nappy leather like uh, Nubuck? And let me just explain what Nubuck is. I mean, if it was a full grain leather with the untouched smooth grain on the, on the surface, it's not so much of an issue. Everybody understands that you wipe it down, you use saddle soap if you have to. But saddle soap contains oils and waxes, and you can't use it on nappy leathers like Nubuck, even though it's a very short, fine nap. Because what will tend to happen is, if you use saddle soap, you will leave uh, some oils and waxes on the surface, which will then tend to make it look uh, a little matted up and a little smooth and silky, which is not the look you want for uh, Nubuck. At the same time, uh, Nubuck uh, has other variations like Crazy Horse. Uh, some other manufacturers, for example, RM Williams might call Crazy Horse uh, distressed leathers. And it's basically the same. It's a Nubuck leather, but in the tannage has had waxes and oils imbued into it. So it becomes a little bit oilier. Uh, the darkness, the color doesn't matter, but it's become a little bit oilier. And a good example of that kind of leather is the uh, copper rough, rough and tough leathers from uh, Red Wing, from SB Foot, uh, Red Wing's tannery, which is basically a Nubuck leather uh, with, with oils and waxes imbued in it. So what is Nubuck? Nubuck is actually not a split leather, which is what suede is. Now, if I can explain that when a hide comes, it's obviously quite thick, and it goes through a process after being initially tanned to preserve it, to split the leather. So the top half with a smooth grain and then a rough, uh, a rough out nap underneath goes off to make boots and shoes that are either smooth grain or they flip over and make it rough out. The lower half uh, is then made into suede because the, uh, the rough out naps there are smoothed over, sanded down and made into a fine suede like Charles F. Stead. Newbuck on the other hand is that top half of the split. But what they do do is they correct uh, the, the, the smooth grain leather. They, they sort of sand and buff the smoothness out of that smooth grain, removing all the you know, um, animal creases and veins and fats and all that, and revealing this sort of soft, um, very soft nappy fibers coming out and remaining uh, still smooth, but not smooth grain. The reason for that is it's more impervious to scratches and, and uh, knocks. Um, and of course, the classic Nubuck leather boot is the classic Timberland six inch yellow boot, the waterproof uh, premium yellow boot. Um, cleaning of Nubuck is actually quite a simple exercise. Uh, you certainly don't use saddle soap, as I said. So let's go through what you do use. And it's not dissimilar to cleaning something like uh, crazy horse. So what I'm going to do is uh, take you through a kind of ASMR video on cleaning my Timberland boots and uh, I'll put commentary in into it as I go but hopefully uh, it'll help put you to sleep but don't fall asleep. <laughs> now, before we go on though uh, I'd like you to do something that will really help me out. Click on like, click on subscribe if you haven't because that really helps my channel and I've also put affiliate links uh, to some of the products in the description area below. Now, look, you, it's not going to cost you a penny more if you click on an affiliate link, but I will get a 5 to 10% uh, commission uh, if you buy something. So if you're actually going to buy a, a, a product that I put down there below, it'll help me out. It'll defray the cost of this channel. Okay, cleaning new butt. Let's go on. So here are my, um, you know, they're not filthy, but they're dirty Timberland classic... Uh, premium waterproof boots. They do need a bit of a clean. Uh, I haven't used them for a while, so this dirt, I'm afraid to say, has been uh, there for a little bit. Uh, but it's time to clean them, so here we go. 
Um, and here, if you're not sure, is the before picture with um, dirt, particularly around the toes, little bits of scruffed off of the uh, new buck and uh, probably will need a little bit of cleaning up in there uh, and dirty sole. Um, now, the first thing I'm going to do is get rid of the loose dirt, uh, particularly out of the sole first, because uh, honestly, you're not going to get too much um, cleanliness if you keep that dirty and then as you handle the clean boot, you transfer dirt. So the first thing to do is clean the sole with a nylon brush. So just a normal nylon brush, uh, fairly stiff bristles. And not forgetting, this is actually dry dirt because I haven't used them for a while. Uh, it's not caked on mud, which is probably gonna need a little bit of a rinse underneath and a little bit of a wash. And like all commando soles, things get stuck in them. So uh, I'm gonna uh, use a, a pick, I think, um, to sort of remove that all over. And I'm just gonna be a bit gentle on the top side because I'll use a different brush for the uppers. Uh, other boot. Not nearly as bad, although there are things stuck in the, in the lugs, as you would expect. So I'll just use a little pick to, uh, to remove some of this stuff that's stuck in there. And uh, for a pick, I'm just using this little brass uh, pick and just to sort of scrape out some of the some of the dirt from uh, the outsole. Here you go, a little bit there. As I say, it's dry, it's not particularly muddy, so that's fine. So the next step is to use a suede brush, one of these little ones with a stiff bristle. Now there are um, uh, other suede brushes where you have a uh, copper bristle core, but I find these are good enough and they're, they're made by Timberland. So all I'm doing here is to brush off what I can see of the dirt. Uh, so any black spots like here where I've rubbed up against uh, a garden bed when I was planting things and rub it right off. I am not too concerned at this stage about re-raising the nap or getting it you know, nicely aligned. All I'm doing at this stage is to rub off as much of the dry dirt as I can. I really should be taking off the laces and cleaning underneath, but I had a look and it's um, not particularly dirty, so I'm not gonna waste my time. Um, and I'll start on this other boot. Okay, so the next step is to look for um, specific spots of darkness and dirt, like a little bit here, including a spot of paint, I think, if you can see, uh, and a little bit across the front. So uh, brushing didn't, didn't remove too much of it. So what I have to do is use a suede eraser, literally an eraser. It comes with a suede kit that you can get most places. So all I'm doing there is spot cleaning the areas that have sort of built up dirt and stuff on them. And some things, you know, you're not gonna get off, particularly if you use this as a work boot. Um, for example, the paint here. I'm gonna rub that bit off. And any other spots, if you pick any out. And you can see it sort of start to clean up. And down here in this area where the, where the, uh, toe dug in. A little vigorous rubbing. And because unfortunately I left these for a few months, if not a year since I last uh, cleaned them, some of these spots are ingrained. Such is life. And uh, I'm not going to wear this on any New York street corner, so uh, I don't need them to be pristine other boot. Here we go. And keep rubbing. Uh, and you can see some of this is actually uh, scuffs coming off the new buck. And I think in this case might actually be a bit of varnish. This here. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to get that little bit of varnish off. Okay, there you go. Now, guess what? Uh, we're going to brush it again. 
So back to the suede brush and we're going to brush off the sort of rubber tailings that um, I created from uh, rubbing the uppers with the eraser or I should say cleaning the uppers with the eraser. Now, if these boots were not particularly dirty, as these are not really, I'd probably leave it at that. Uh, but they do need a bit of conditioning um, with suede uh, and new buck conditioner. Uh, but also, because this is a cleaning video, I'm going to uh, show you how to use uh, a cleaner that Timberland sells, calls, uh, they, they call the uh, Renew Buck. And also, I want to make sure that I'm repairing little bits of tears that along there, so I'll show you how to do that. This next bit, uh, treat this with care. I'm using 1200 grit sandpaper. Uh, I would actually prefer to use something like 2000 grit sandpaper, but I haven't got any. <laughs> uh, it's very fine sandpaper. And what I'm going to do is very lightly, mark my words, lightly sand some of these uh, really rough spots. And all I'm doing is not, you know, I haven't got a hope in hell of getting this back to new, new buck condition. But what I'm going to try and do is remove the lifted parts so that they don't catch further and start to tear uh, into the leather. So this is some very light sanding. I'd almost call it buffing with very fine sandpaper and then brush. Now, I don't know if you can tell, but some of the bits that, that had flaked off like in layers are actually getting better. But, buyer beware, there are some bits which is actually a gouge. I'm never gonna clean that up. And I'm realistic about that. Uh, this side doesn't appear to be too bad. You can spend a bit more time than I have patience for right now, and you can get it to almost new. All right, that's the sanding part. Guess what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna start brushing. And, and really, that is like the catch word, is to just, as you clean, brush the dirt off. As you use the eraser, brush the dirt off. Uh, as you use a light sandpaper, brush the dirt off, and I've missed a bit here. So I'm going to just sand that here. And again, all I'm doing, as I say, is removing the flap of skin uh, to prevent it catching any further. And the left boot is really not anywhere near as bad. Okay. So the next step is to wash them really with uh, Timberland's Renew Buck product. This is Timberland's Renew Buck product. Uh, and uh, RM Williams does a similar one. They call it a suede cleaner, but you can use it on New Buck. And really what you do uh, is you spray it onto a cloth, not onto the leather because you don't soak the leather with these products. Just spray it on a cloth and uh, wipe the dirt and if there is any grease, wipe the grease off. So let's go. Let's clear the table. Move all these over there. And we'll do one boot at a time. Uh, and all I'm going to do is spray a bit of this foaming Renew Buck onto a soft, clean rag. And basically, clean the boot. Now you see it darkens the leather, not to worry. It's not going to stay dark. Uh, what it is is obviously the leather has just got damp. It is a foaming product, which unlike the uh, RM Williams suede cleaner does not foam. Uh, this one does foam. And I'm going to just focus on some of these you see, because that doesn't darken, that clearly tells me there's a spot of paint on there. Uh, which has kind of coated the leather. Okay. 
and often the shaft of the boot is itself quite clean because it's protected by your jeans most of the time, isn't it? So I would focus the cleaning efforts really on the vamp uh, and the lower quarters. And while I'm doing this, it may not look like it, but I'm also looking to see where some light bits are to make sure I'm cleaning inside creases and things like that. And as I say, normally I would take the laces off, clean the tongue as well, but you know, time is time. Next boot, choose a cleaner part of the cloth. And I just spray a bit on and I want to show you something. This is what I want to try and focus on because it's a little bit lighter, so I'm wondering whether uh, something is rejecting the cleaner. So I'm just making sure that goes on. And if you don't think that did anything to clean the boot, take a look at that. It's definitely picked up uh, dirt. Righty-o. Uh, basically, it's now time to let them dry and then I'll come back and we'll finish it off. Good morning. So. Here we are on the next day. I just want to show you uh, after they've dried what they look like. There's um, still a few scuffs. I mean, I wasn't really completely um, successful in sanding off the very deep scuffs. Like for example, this one. I mean, there's a really deep gouge there. Um, but, and I haven't been successful in doing that. Uh, this one looks a little bit better, I think, where I've been able to sort of smooth down some of those scuffs there. But some of them are really deep. I mean, these are old boots. Um, but the important thing is that I've cleaned them uh, and brushed them down uh, and uh, tried to repair as best as I can. And I think they look, they look better. Um, I wish I'd kept one to compare as a before, but I think they actually look better. So uh, I can do two things now. Uh, three things, actually. Uh, I can condition them, and there are different suede and new buck conditioners on the market. Uh, Sophia, for example, has a, has a spray one. Uh, but I tend to use this one uh, from Echo, which is a Danish brand. And uh, I find it really useful because it's a, it's a, a sponge wipe-on applicator. Now, I'm not going to do this because I don't think these boots feel dry at all, despite the neglect that they've had. Um, and I don't really want to over-condition new bucks, you know. Um, uh, they, they do tend to be uh, better as a drier uh, leather anyway. Um, and if they really needed conditioning, I'd put that on. The second thing I'd do is, uh, guess what, brush. And the technique in brushing in this case is exactly the same. Uh, except in this case, maybe what you're trying to do is get the, um, the uh, nap to sort of stand up in the right way because nap, the nap is also a little bit like um, suede but with less uh, height than that and it does change colour wherever you go depending on which way you uh, brush it. So I'm not going to go in great detail but just to let you know that really the next step after cleaning it uh, to make it presentable is to brush it. So. The third thing I could do, take a cup of coffee. The third thing I could do is then spray it with a kind of waterproofing spray. I'm not going to be too precious on these because I do use them for work boots and, um, you know, I, they're not walking around in the rain in the city. So I'm not going to bother spraying them, but you could do that. You could use a waterproofing spray. Uh, the one I use is a Tarago product. It's called Nano Spray, but there are others on the market. Um, so there you go. That's the cleaning process. I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, so just to walk you through the process again for cleaning new buck, you dry clean it first. You, you uh, brush the dirt off the outsoles. Uh, you brush the dirt off the welt area, even though this is a cemented boot. It has a look-alike welt area, but that does accumulate uh, dirt. So you give that a good brushing. And you dry brush the uppers just to get rid of all that dry, sandy, gritty stuff. And then you uh, spot clean by using the suede eraser to rub uh, little dark spots off as best as you can. A uh, little tricky when this has been used in sort of um, uh, work type of things. 
Uh, and then after you, you, you um, spot clean them, you brush them, and then you use a suede or nubuck spray cleaner on a damp cloth and you uh, clean it overall. You don't spot clean because that could get, make it look quite spotty. Uh, and then when it dries, give them a good brushing. You can condition if you want. Uh, you can uh, spray with a waterproof spray if you want. So remember, uh, if you like this video, click on the like. And uh, if you think you're going to follow on with this, with this uh, series and my other boot reviews, don't forget to click on subscribe. Now, take care out there. I'll see you again soon in my next video. Look after yourselves.